so if I look around the world, look, oh, here's someone in near Berlin or in Berlin. I just zoom in on there, tap it, and I can see a quick detail. Oop, oh, they've just stopped broadcasting. <laughs> that happens sometimes. You tap this is it. Periscope. And where's this one? So you go tap. Two people in that area. And you can see how many people are currently watching them. So let's just... And then once it's broadcast, it's saved somewhere? Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, it is for a while, but I'm not exactly sure how that works yet. This is happening right now in that part of the world. And then, so is it kind of like that? There's another, there's another app that I've seen where you can watch the video once, and then once you've watched it, it's deleted. I don't really know what the purpose I, I for that for yeah. is, but. For, so for example, just about half an hour ago, I was with Randy, and I did this. And it's, it's saved at the moment, but I think it might. And I'll just hold it up there so you can. Yeah, this is oh, there's Ray. I still haven't seen well, Ray except for his video. I mean, it's like while. The, Okay, I've got two people watching you now. Wow. Just, just like that, and that five, six, a five so far. Is there an audio image too? Uh, we can't hear them. They can hear us. Oh, they can hear us. They can hear okay. oh. us. This is Jay and Randy at Tam 13 uh, at the Tropicana Hotel. Those little hearts mean people appreciate what's happening. Yet? You should. Come on down. We got people saying, oh, look at this. Yeah. Wishes to Randy. So the people who just um, watching so and, can, and they, they can ask us questions live. Oh my goodness! Hi, I'm Richard Saunders. I'm broadcasting from the Amazing Meeting, and there's Ray Hunt, there's Spoonie, and there's Mr. Randy himself, and we can see what people are saying. Yay, Randy! <laughs> Isn't that cool? But so I like this, but but you don't think it's safe somewhere? Like you can't? I haven't investigated enough. This. I can watch this now and probably tomorrow, but I did one a few days ago and I can't seem to find it. I need to investigate it more. Because that would be really, that is, that is so cute. Mm. So what I'll do now is I'll go like this. This is interviewing Susan Gerbeck for the Skeptic Zone. And then if I press this one, little TV. How long does it go? Do the videos have to be certain sh length? No, no, you just keep recording for as long as you like. Oops. Not, uh, come on, come on, wake up, wake up. Oh, there we go. Sorry, not the little TV. We say... <sighs> Tam. So is it not searchable? You know what? I still... This is... Uh, is so that new, new to you? Not new to me. That I'm only just, just getting into it and learning by the skin of my teeth. So we set that up there, Tam 13. Hi. No, come in. No, no, not at all. Yeah. Left. Not a problem at all. So if I press this now. And it's it's recording us like. Yeah, I'll just slip the camera. There we are. But it needs to be a vertical? I think so. I think that. I think if, if, if people might be watching us now sideways. Oh. <laughs> if anybody's watching this, can you let us know if you're watching us sideways or like this or where well he's from australia so things are upside down there so it could possibly be mm. upside down good angle hi everybody how so, are you doing? oh we're sideways okay so if we do this again and we sit back a little bit oh somebody's listening to us yes yeah, hi there Hello. how are you hi oh my gosh this is the greatest app okay so that's better so this we need is, to be this way yeah, we need to be this way. Hi, everybody. We're at the amazing meeting in Las Vegas. I'm Richard Saunders with Susan Gerbeck from Guerrilla Skepticism. We're about to do an interview for my podcast called The Skeptic Zone, and we're re recording this at the moment. And uh, it's also an opportunity for me to show uh, Susan here what uh, Periscope is all about. I just downloaded it. I just downloaded it. I, lo I love this. This is great. So we've got seven people watching us at the moment. Hi, seven people. So I'm Eight, a, nine. It, well, oh, thank you for the love. And in a few moments, I'll start the interview. So if you want to tell any... any uh, oh, Minnesota Skeptics. Hi, Minnesota Skeptics. How did you find us? Thank you very much. I, I do enjoy doing the podcast. Um, 
if you want, if people watching now, all 11 of you so far, want to spread the word quickly that this broadcast's on, in a few moments I'll uh, I'll do a live interview with Susan Gerbeck. Wow, so can you guys search for us? Or was there a hashtag or something that you were able to look, find us? I, I, I've, I'm relatively new to Periscope, so I know to find people just by tapping on the world and looking what's going on. I don't, I don't know enough about it yet, but I, I like the technology. Hola, como estas? <laughs> oh, this is too fun. You rock, you see? I, yeah, I love this. Yes, I tapped in the you map. You tapped the map. Okay, I thought But did so, you yeah. find a way of knowing that we were... Muy bien, muy bien. Y usted, muy bien. Muy caliente ah. hoy, aquí. So I this like looked on the Las Vegas. Oh. Oh, Twitter. Does, so does, it, does an alert come up on my tweet or something like that for this? I'm still learning. Ah, so it's, on, it's coming up so on my So it came Twitter. up in your Twitter account that Twitter. said that he's about doing a thing. Right. The Minnesota skeptics, hey, you guys, we just wrote their Wikipedia page for the Minnesota atheists um, a few years ago, and um, you guys are doing great work over there, and we've got some plans on some new things we'd like to do with um, captioning videos and things like that that have to do with, um, oh, hi, hello there from Turkey. Oh my goodness! There's, yeah, you, there's, you get there's, people there's like that. There's porn too. Yeah, you oh, get people like okay. That. Well, okay. No, we're not interested we're, in that. Yeah, wasting your time. But yeah, so we're we're interested in some of the things that the different skeptic groups are, can be doing with um, all kinds of things. Guten Tag, we get. Uh, hello, hello. Aus Deutschland. <laughs> we have we have skeptics in, in Germany. Naples, Florida. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> oh my Hi, gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so cool, Danke. So for the question just before, I do a podcast called The Skeptic Zone, but I'm at The Amazing Meeting in Las Vegas, which is run by the James Randi Educational Foundation, and Susan Gerbeck and I have just sort of come into this little uh, private area to do an interview, and also to do a bit of uh, periscoping. Yeah, I wanted to see what this is about. Tam. Tam, yeah. that's right. <laughs> How do you get rid of the spam? You don't. You, you, you don't get rid of idiots. Unfortunately, there are probably 13-year-old kids on, who do this and just want to type this stuff. Oh, well, whatever. You okay. Know. Oh, you can block them. How do you block them? How do you block them? Ooh. We want to know. I'm still learning about this. Push the face. Oh, their face is just gone. <laughs> oh, you mean whenever... Them. Oh, you yeah. Them. But so when the faces come up, we yeah. can just so hit if the idiot, If the idiots come back, I guess we can, we can, we can try that. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it's James Alcar. Hi there. Hi, how are you doing? Come say hi to the world. Look, everybody. This is James Alcock. Can you see him? Come hi. over here, James. Get right here. Hi. Hello there. This I just blocked somebody. Oh, Isn't that's that, awesome. That's We're great. learning all sorts of stuff. This one? There's another one. Yeah. Well, we can sit here and block all the users. Will they be permanently blocked? Forever? I don't know. But These are people all over the world that are watching that are watching, they're watching us video yeah. right now. Yeah. Say hi. This is James Alcock, awesome guy. Look him up on Wikipedia. <laughs> Somebody from Minnesota Skeptics is on here right now. Until you unblock them. Thank well, you. Yeah. Hi, I, James. Somebody just said I hi don't, to you. I don't hesitate in blocking people, folks, just so you know. Hello from Utah, yeah. Dallas. We've got 14. Yeah. And did most of you find us from the Twitter feed? Yay yeah, for going. blocking. Oh, the magic of modern communication. Yes. Yeah. No. Okay. Some said yes. Okay. This is I interesting. Mean, some people use the Twitter feed and some people use the map, I suppose. Catch you later. Okay, bye, James. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to be doing an interview, we'll apparently. We'll be in an interview in a, in a moment. So thank you, everybody, for... Um, you use the map, okay, for tuning in or uh, following me on Twitter. Again, this is a recording for the Skeptic Zone podcast, which is at www.skepticzone.tv, um, which is a, an Australian podcast for science and reason. So, here we are at the amazing meeting, TAM 13 in 2015, and I'm with, ha uh, ha ha, Susan Gerbeck from Gorilla Skepticism. Whoop, there we go. <laughs> and at the same time, uh, Skeptic Zone listeners, we're periscoping live. So some of you may have already heard us and seen this interview as we were doing it live. It's... As we record this, it's nearly midday on uh, Thursday, the, what is it, the, the 16th today or something like that? Oh, somebody's just going to run down and grab a beer, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I might just do that. I might, 
Uh, so Skeptic Zone listeners who are listening to this on the podcast, we are actually now interacting with people who are watching us live and we can answer questions live as we go. So it's a little bit confusing. Susan Gerbeck, hello. Hello. Welcome back to the Skeptic Zone. I am so thrilled to be back on the Skeptic Zone who's been so awesome to the GSOW project. One of the great reasons we are the force to be reckoned with is because of podcasts and supporters like those in the Skeptic Zone. We love you. Now for our Skeptic Zone listeners who are our newer listeners, and for our Periscope viewers at the moment, what can you tell me about uh, this interesting uh, thing that you've involved with, the gorilla skepticism? Well, we, we believe that if you are going to change the world, we're going to have to get some really good information out there in a place to um, that people can find um, the answers to questions and citations that they can follow and, and actually learn about um, whatever the topic it is. Maybe it's homeopathy or facilitated uh, communication or just who our spokespeople are, the Skeptic Zone people, uh, all the fantastic work that's happening in Australia, the Northern Rivers Vaccination uh, Supporters Group. Yep. I might have just stumbled over their name. It's no, so that's long. Right. Northern Rivers Vaccination Supporters. Supporters. Yeah. yeah, we just wrote their Wikipedia page, and what we believe is that if we can get the information on the sixth most amazing website, which is the Wikipedia, mm -hmm. then people will be able to find great information, and they can make their own mind up and find and discover the answers and so on. We're not telling them what to think, basically. Yeah, but so you're here at, at the amazing meeting because it's, it's just a good place to be and meet yes. people. But you're here too to, and I'm, I'll be joining you with this because I'm, I'm very keen to, to hear what you're going to say, teaching people the process of, of um, on, uh, editing Wikipedia. Mm -hmm. We're finding that a lot of people are having trouble joining the GSOW project because there is quite a bit of training involved. Uh, we teach you how not only to edit like a Wikipedia editor does, but we're also teaching you how to do um, edits that are um, more in the mindset of a GSOW editor. We're trying to teach you a different kind of philosophy, a different way of doing it, still following the rules of Wikipedia, but it is a little bit different than a normal Wikipedia editor would be doing. But what we've discovered is we really need a lot of people editing Wikipedia, whether they join the GSOW project or not. And I'm finding that there's a lot of people who are just cannot make that first step to make the edit. They're really terrified to make their first edit. I can understand that. It, it, is, yeah. it is pretty intimidating, even especially if you're not, you know, in a tech field, you know, that kind of thing. We want people who are I get, new. A lot of people, I guess, would look at uh, Wikipedia but not necessarily realize you can actually... Yes, modify it. You can edit it. So I'm going to be doing a workshop here on Sunday for anybody who brings their laptops, and we're going to have some real examples, and we're going to help make their first edits. Ninety minutes is all I have, and it is going to be really, really hard to get hardly any, a lot done in ninety minutes. But anybody who brings their laptop should be able to make real edits, and I'm hoping that that will fuel their curiosity. They'll go on to be a little more confident and maybe make more edits, and try to help us change the world because. Uh, yeah, somebody's asking us yeah. a question. What do they do if they edit wrong information? Well, it can be reverted with about two clicks. And we see this a lot with people who vandalize Wikipedia pages. We can go in and, and change that. And not just a GSOW editor, but anybody who is on Wikipedia at the moment um, can go in and change and edit. And that's not a problem. The, the beauty of Wikipedia is that things that are made, that are added, they're incorrect. They can be fixed very quickly. Nothing. It's not like a printed encyclopedia, and it's it's a pretty it's a pretty easy process. It just works somehow or other. It's managed to work. I think we're on our twelfth year. Uh, Wikipedia is existing. Really? Mm -hmm. Only twelve years? Thirteen years? I think. Right. It's how you lose time mm -hmm. on the internet. I think when things come along. I mean, this Periscope that we're looking at right now to me is very new, but I'm not sure how long it's been around. But I think it's going to get very popular. Oh, I, I'm, Very I'm enjoying it I mean, already. This is, a, this is a great little thing we're, we're doing, and we can interact with people watching us live. And it's quite random because um, I guess you could, you could say ahead of time, tune in. Oh, here's a question. Um, what is Wikipedia's opinion on con concerted editors that do that, or they see it as trolling? No. They're, um, the GSOW project 
is well-trained editors who are going in and making real edits that are usually done with a group of people looking at them before they're made live. And they welcome us. The other Wikipedia editors are all welcoming to our group and they welcome the fact that we are bringing more editors in who have some kind of training and that kind of thing. So yeah, we, we've been embraced completely by the Wikipedia community. And you've had, I mean, the work you've been doing is remarkable. Now, what, what do you think is, is uh, one of the highlights? Is it creating Wikipedia pages for worthwhile groups like the Northern Rivers Vaccination Supporters, or is it getting existing content up to date? Well, you know, it's a little bit of everything. And it's fun because we're able to do such a diverse group of things. One of the things we've been doing lately with GSOW is we spent six months working on anything that has to do with vaccinations. And we've been working on pages that are pro-vax, anti-vax. And we've also been taking pages for celebrities like uh, Jenny McCarthy, mm. um, Alicia Silverstone, um, Donald Trump, um, different people like that who have anti uh, vaccination views and we're trying to make sure um, well, we try to make um, <laughs> I'm going to get a little distracted because people are talking to me people that's really it. exciting it's, it's but um, we're trying to make we're trying to make sure that where was I at oh my god I got distracted okay so we're trying to uh, 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 uh. oh the question was you can edit this out obviously the question was can how do we what is better, you know, working on yeah. these pages? Or, is it you new know, stuff or, or is, it, is, is it... It's a little of everything. Modifying old it stuff. depends on the kind of time you have. What is this all about for those who are just joining? Okay. Uh, we're at the amazing meeting in Las Vegas. This is the annual meeting of the James Randi Educational Foundation. It's for science and skepticism and um, uh, things like that. And I'm interviewing Susan Gerbeck, who is from... I hope you can see that the right way. I'm not sure if you can see that reversed or not, but it's gorillaskeptics.com. And what Susan does is uh, help to bring Wikipedia up to date, make it factual, uh, correct information, and create a Wikipedia for worth worthwhile causes and people. Right. We focus on scientific skepticism. So all things paranormal, all things um, medical claims, not necessarily like a, like a, we wouldn't work on a Wikipedia page for a vaccine. I mean, I wouldn't want to go in and mess with the content on the measles vaccine or something like that. We would work on the Wikipedia pages for people who are um, speaking out and talking about vaccinations and, and why it's a good thing or groups that are encouraging vaccinations or um, the anti-vax pages so that people can get good information about why these people believe this and what is the rationale what are their arguments and who, who they are and what kind of education and training they've had because that's important information to get out there also so this interview that you're watching live now, those people on Periscope, will be on the Skeptic Zone podcast at skepticzone.tv. Oh, in the coming weeks, you know, when I, when I slot it in, I'm not very sure. I'm doing lots of interviews here at the amazing meeting. Thank you for, for watching. Yes, somebody's just saying, got to go. We'll catch up on the rest of it. Thank you very much. Uh, and it's, right now, this isn't just a chance for me to try out some new technology as well. But yes, this interview is being recorded onto this microphone here and will be coming out on the Skeptic Zone TV. Well, Susan Gerbeck, thank you very much for trying this new... This is the first live uh, Skeptic Zone interview I've done. Oh, I... In fact. I, this is great. This I love technology. it. I love it. I love it. Thank you so much for thank watching. You. Thank you for watching, every, for the benefit of the people listening to this on the Skeptic Zone podcast. And thank you for listening. And we love the Skeptic Zone. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, Susan. We just absolutely appreciate everything that you're doing. Keep it up, guys. And I'll be in Australia in October. Oh, just to mention, yes, Susan's coming to uh, our, the Australian Skeptics National Convention in Brisbane in October. So look forward to that. Yeah, and I'm planning on going to some other places. I'm hopefully going to be speaking to um, areas in Tasmania. Possibly New Zealand, um, Sydney, uh, Cambria, Melbourne. Canberra. Any, Canberra. Canberra. Any place anybody's going to let me sit and talk to you, I want to be there. So hopefully I'm going to hit a lot of other places and check us out. Eventually I'll have a schedule real soon, hopefully after this week, of where I'm going and what days. All right. Well, from uh, the amazing meeting at the moment, this is uh, Richard Saunders and Susan Gerbeck thanking you and signing off. Bye. Bye.